Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Season three, week seven, mm. hits and pick. Mm. Mm. Brady is not here. But mm. who? Who's here? Who's here? A friend of the program. Yeah, we Ooh, have a we have just a, a friend. We have a good friend of the program here. Um, we talk about him often. I, I feel like the the fans know who he is. He might um, be the number one topic. Yeah, he could be the number I one topic. We, you know, friend of the program, Melvin. Yeah, Mel. I accept your criticisms. Um, for this episode and this episode only, if you wouldn't mind, um, I would prefer to be called intern. So because because um, I I do have an announcement. Yep, here it comes. He has an announcement. I have Go an ahead. announcement. I unfortunately will be resigning my post as intern for the remainder of the third season. Okay. With hopes, with hopes that you two, and I only mean you two. Thank you. You don't care about our... Hey, his opinions are relevant. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I, this is my last episode for the year, probably. You know, I got to get it in. He is one third of um, the podcast, right? Yes, but all I need is two votes. He did. Uh, he yeah. did. He got math this there. <laughs> he thought about um, he got us. He thought about I, I I hope to return with your blessing in season four. I wouldn't mind that in full no. strength. I, I I completely understand. life life is about to get in my way. I understand. I will not be able to dedicate my full self to the podcast. Therefore, I unfortunately will have to resign my post. Maybe, hopefully, hopefully, I can come back for a playoff episode here. Um, you know, a little bit down the road, can't promise anything, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to resign for the remainder of season three. Jake, you may speak first. Well, I, I just want to say we're always very transparent with our fans. So Melvin, unfortunately, has to go to rehab. He's been <laughs> struggling. Um, that's why he hasn't <laughs> been here the couple weekends. He he really is run and do some wrong. Dark. Some dark things, and we we wish him the best. We're actually paying for his treatment. Um, we all kind of got together as a group, and we're sending him out to Wyoming to some peace treaty camp. And Melvin, I hope everything. I works didn't. Out. I didn't want to say this on the pod, but since you finally brought up his addiction, I caught him in downtown a couple weeks ago in the corner offering hand jobs for five bucks. Jesus. Again? <laughs> yeah. I thought he was done with that shit. He lied to us. You better be careful. I won't come back for season four. <laughs> no, uh, we're just kidding. We're, we're just, just kidding. completely kidding. On the hand job part. But yeah. The Wyoming <laughs> trip. <laughs> I'm going to be a part of the Yellowstone Dutton Ranch. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Yes. Um, no, I completely understand. Me we're too. all. Um, wow, I feel like we're getting serious here. I think I I might kind of like it. You might. Hopefully, cry. I don't start crying because you I am very cry. sensitive. Um, we're grown ass men. Yep. Life gets in the way. Um, we cannot be mad at you whatsoever. No, sir. Obviously, we fuck around with you every week Let's about not being here. Can I finish before yes, you I'm speak? Sorry. Yes, I apologize. Um, Typical. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, we'll miss you for sure. <laughs> I love that pause. <laughs> yeah, dude, I thought yeah, I, he, well, he kind of interrupted me, and I it's forgot true. what I was going to say. It's true. I'm glad that you two are sentimental because I know the kid that's not here. He's going to be like, "Oh, forget him." Well, he's we'll like your some, number one. We'll enemy. get someone new. Well, it's okay. I mean, I, yeah. yeah. Like I said, I only need two out of three people to vote me back in. I mean, so. dude, I I put I put, and if wait. I had to pick two of three people, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, I want you. If you have a statement to continue, feel free to continue. No, he interrupted me, made me forget what well, I was going to say. Well, the sentimental part that was there, that, like, first seven seconds, I felt that. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're dude. welcome. I, I, I would put Melvin and Brady up with, like, the likes of, like, Rico versus Nadu. Yes, like, no doubt. Like, yes. I, 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 I see... a great rivalry. I see these two as, like... Jesus. Animalistic individuals towards one Don't another. like that. As, as peaceful as it has been, I do miss the the... Back and forth between the banter. I'm gonna be. I'm two. gonna be so real with you. Peace, peace and happiness is fun. Yeah, that's what I do on the ju juice box, yeah. here, dude. I'm here to fucking argue. Oh dude. yeah, no doubt. You know, no doubt. So Melvin, we will miss you. More than likely, you will be back for season four. I'd like to think so. Yes. Yeah, I'd like to think so as well. We'll let you know. Yeah. Thanks. That's all I asked for is your consideration. Yeah. And when I say your consideration, I literally mean. You in Jake's consideration. Jeez. We appreciate This that. isn't going to go well <laughs> no, next week. Not. 
Well, maybe you think well, no. He think he listen? angered me. You know, I I I he's have not you been to, listening? He's not here to defend himself. Have, no, be honest. Have you been listening? You can say yes or no. Yeah. Every you, week you listen. I th- I didn't listen last week. I bet he does. Did, did we have an episode last week? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. You don't think he? he will? I don't think no. he angered me. He's busy this week. True. Um, he yeah. is busy this week, and I'll give him that. You know, he's got the jitters. He's got the he's got oh, the wedding what? jitters. That's fine. <laughs> Sheesh. Um, well, it's normal. It's fine. I'm okay with that. But you know, I drew the line today when he made fun of us for. I was going to get my hair cut for him. Yeah, dude. I'm for not him. I'm not gonna lie. That one was kind of like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? <laughs> like, I'm doing this for him. Yeah, and he wants to come at us. And he wasn't even going to be he's here. He's not even going to be here? <laughs> yeah, that's the best part He can't be here for my resignation? Yeah, that's the best part Dude, newsflash. I cut my fucking toenails now, dude. So, Things change, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so what should we do? Should we give Brady a couple days to see if he listens to know he's resigning? I think I think we have to. We have to press him in the next episode. We'll keep it between us. Okay. But when we're recording... Next week we'll be on all of like. Of course, Melvin's not here again yeah. or something. I yeah. really like. We'll this try to pay. Okay, um, I like imagine, that. Imagine him just sounding so stupid. I mean, like, <laughs> can I? <laughs> can I make a make a suggestion? Yeah, sure. Am I able to still be in on the weekly picks as long as that. I send them? Yeah, for I like, don't think you sent last for like week. Five though. bucks? No, but because I knew that I was going to be doing this. I just forgot. And I was like, I, I do not have my record. I do not have everything. Like, it's just been a busy time. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but I would still like, as long as I send picks for whenever you send them out, I would still like to be a part of the group. For the money part of for it. For the money part of yeah, it. Yeah, that's that's cool with me. Right. Yeah. fucking pig, dude. Just <laughs> wants us for our <laughs> money. Hungry. Are you kidding me, I bro? like gambling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, no, I, I understand. Yeah, I completely understand. A lot, lot on... Your plate right I now. mean, but let's not act like the shit talk is still going to be happening. Oh, yeah, no doubt. And we're no still going to rep you, dude. Yeah, for sure. This isn't a get out of jail free yeah, card, like, brother. That's fine. We might be a little sentimental this episode, but, oh, it's going to be. You think you're the third host isn't going to be coming at your neck still? Let him know, dude. Two out of three. It's all I need. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. All right. Fair. Now that we got that out of the way. Boys, how are we doing outside of that? Good? Honestly, dude, life life's kind of like really good right now. Yeah, it's not bad. You it's know? Not bad at all. Yeah. Weather's changing. I got my long sleeves mm-hmm. on. You know, I'm a big fan of long sleeves. I I know that like wedding season is slowly coming to an end to me Thank for the me. Lord. Thank God. Thank the Lord. Yep. And then we're trickling into holiday season. Life's good, brother. I can't complain right now. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I can't complain about much. Um, I am very ready for wedding season to be over. I got one this weekend, one next weekend, and I believe that is it. So I'm very excited for that to be over with. Congrats to all the newlyweds that Congrats. invited me to their weddings and everything like that this year. It's always fun to be there, but it's also just, I wouldn't say stressful. It's just... I think stressful is a fair word. You think stressful is a fair word? And and it, it, I think it's used differently in terms of like the traditional stressful, Mm -hmm. but that that lingering, the lingering like I guess stress of always having like so much stuff planned, yeah, is kind of like, yeah, maybe that's it. The only thing, or one of the only things that, at least on my end, I have not gotten to just sit down for an entire. Saturday and watch football and watch football. I've had very and e- few. And even on Sunday, I'm either traveling or I've had to go and do things, which, you know, as long as I'm local, that's one thing. But I the whole month of September, I wasn't able to my grandfather <laughs> do anything. Shut up. I was not able to watch football. And I was just like, you know, I'm happy that I got to go to these weddings. But man, it was I'm like looking forward to. Like obviously this weekend is going to be a lot of fun, and I'm excited for it. Oh, thousand! Like next weekend, I'm still like, I'm high key excited for that to just sit there and watch football all day. I'm just, yeah. I, I'm just excited for like, 
for example, that, I mean, this might have been two years ago now, but just like that random fall Saturday, I came over to your parents' yeah. house and we all watched yeah. football. Yeah. Like, I'm, and th- I'm just excited for that kind of stuff to yeah. become in the front end. And that's my favorite thing to do is go down to my parents on Saturdays and watch football. And we haven't got to do it nearly as much as we usually do, which is unfortunate. But uh, it's just been busy, man. We're just at that age where everyone's just getting married and other things. It's just, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, uh, there's like so much. Like you don't, I don't know. I feel like over time I've learned this. You don't realize how much like work really does kind of take over like life no in doubt. terms of being able to keep up with like yeah. friendships. No doubt. Like, I, like I'm lucky that I still have like the same core of crew that i have yeah. but like we're all getting older you oh, know yeah. people are having kids yeah. now like it's it's gonna change so yeah I, I fucks with it though it's fun melvin i wanted to ask you well are you listening to something okay just because i still think it was funny i think i asked i think i asked you last week how funny was it seeing bonnell show up at the wedding I was so confused that he just like called me. He was like, "Where's this thing at?" And I was like, <laughs> "I was like, okay, uh, <laughs> go make a right, make a left, you're there." But I was just he just showed up, and I was like, "This is the most random thing I think I've ever seen." Yeah, and like, <laughs> go ahead. The best part was was like he had only met your brother like once or twice in person. Yeah, and the rest has just been on Xbox. They so just, just bonded like, over Fortnite. They literally like, just bought it over Fortnite. Dude, but that's, awesome. fr- that's friendship. It really is. It really is. I was I was so happy to see. Well, I call him Kip. That's his gamer tag. I was so happy to see him, and I just keep asking people. I'm like, people were probably, like, so surprised. They were probably like, what the fuck is Bonnell doing here? Dude, I, like, might, I might just invite Bonnell to my wedding. Yeah, why not? And just see if he comes. <laughs> <laughs> like he was supposed to come to mine, and then his kids ended up really sick, and I was so bummed out. The fuck is he watching? I'm starting to get pissed, dude. This is starting to piss me off. Right it does, now, it's fine. I'm, t- I'm. It's fine. It's that drawing. I didn't go ever and play. Are it. they doing it live? The yeah. one in Jewett? Yeah. Well, give us an update on it I'm at least. I'm to listen to it, but you guys are interrupting me. Okay. Okay. Go ahead okay, and listen. Okay. All right. We will just. We're gonna jump into it. That was a nice little talk the boys just had. I love I love talking shop with the boys. Yeah, me too. It's a great time. Um, New prime flavor. Yeah, I've seen that. Would you Isn't like to taste? Good? Yeah, we'll try it. Oh, a little, little live test taste of Gloomberry. Honestly, dude, it smacks. It's clear. It smacks. It's good. I'm getting blown yeah, up. Yeah, you're I getting need to blown take a up. Phone call. Yeah, take a phone call. Hello. Okay, all right. Bye. Is everyone all right? Well, Melv? What are they saying? Three million. Yeah, everything's good. Okay. Everything's good. Everything's good. <laughs> Holy shit, my heart started racing there for a <laughs> sec, dude. I have mine, too. Oh, my God. This is a weird episode. This is such a weird episode. <laughs> so, Especially, oh... I forgot Courtney did tell me your friend might be uh might die. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, we're gonna talk football. <sighs> once I give Courtney my Chick Fil A order. Oh yeah, dude. What is it? Tell the class. I, I've been wanting to try that new pimento chicken sandwich. Uh, Have you know, had it yet? Let me know how it is. Right. I've never had it. It's too sweet. Too sweet. You didn't like it. Not really. Without the honey, I probably would have liked it. The honey made it way too sweet. No, I'm kind of scared because I don't even know if I like pimento. Yeah, dude, I, I had to ask my dad. I was like, what's pimento? And he was like, I don't know. And then I Googled it, and I still don't know what it is. I just know the Masters has a famous pimento cheese sandwich. That's all I know. I like the cheese portion, but the honey just made it way too sweet. Okay, I'll just get my usual then. Dude, I wish all golf. Well, I guess I guess your comeback will be like live set up like this. But I wish all golf was set up like the Ryder Cup. Dude, the Ryder Cup is awesome. Like, I was dialed into yeah. the Ryder Cup. Yeah. I was watching it on the plane. I was watching it the, the day before mm-hmm. when it was on TV. I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm, starting, I'm starting to understand why people love yeah. golf. Yeah. There's not, certain formats and stuff like that that are sick. Like yeah. That. I'm yeah. not going to sit here and be like, I lo- like, 
but I've I've elevated up to a casual. Mm-hmm. And that, that's big, dude. I never thought I'd hit this. It point. was it was so funny. That Thursday, it was the weekend of Jock's wedding, the Ryder Cup was. So that th- he had a cabin up Ogilvy Thursday through Thursday to Monday. So that Thursday we're just all sitting there like it's getting late. We're like, oh, who we want to bet, blah, blah, blah. We're like, well, there's no way there's gonna be a, a sweep either way, day one. Wake up in the morning, Europe's just up four nothing. We're like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I think I took three American teams and one Europe team. And I was like, well, I it just got, got pounded. It got hit. Nuh-uh. Yeah. That was the number that my dad was playing, but he didn't get picked. It was number 44. They just, it was 3.18 million. Someone hit oh, it. Oh, my yeah. God. Congrats, I guess, to that person. 3.18 million. I got to let the boys know. That's crazy, dude. That's a lot of money. How how much do you think they get? They actually get out of that? What is it? The Queen of Hearts? Yeah. Uh, yes, Queen of Hearts. How much taxes do you think comes out of that? Uh, I had heard forty percent. Forty percent. Forty percent out of it. But it's still going to be like almost. Two. I think they said it was going to be like two million. I Who, think. What was the name? Do you remember? Uh, John something Woolwick or something like that. Wolfick or I don't know. Wow. Congrats to that guy. Congrats. Dude, that's way forty percent? Yeah, so what would who wants to do the math? Elvin. Sixty percent of three point one million. They, they said what, it was like two point eight two point oh or two point something million. Well, it's still not bad. It's still not bad, but yeah. the fact that you lose forty percent is insane. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Fucking fat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to get in the football. What a crazy episode so far. Jesus. Fuck, dude. Did you see the Bigfoot? No, what? You didn't see the Bigfoot? Like a real Bigfoot? Uh, a really clear HD, I think, iPhone or good Samsung camera filmed the P- these people on a train in Colorado yeah. and plain as day, it is a Bigfoot. It literally gets up. It walks, it like looks towards the train, ducks down and crouches over and literally blends in with the with the environment. I'll show you, bro. Yeah, I want to see show me after the pause. It's crazy. Show me after the pause. I will. All right. So. All right. Yeah, I love Can Bigfoot. We, I'm so interested in that. It's it's real. Yeah. Oh, I always said it was real. All right. Um, we're going into football. We are well, we're only seventeen minutes. Yeah, do we as bad as I thought. Nah. Um Okay, big, uh, well, we just want to start with Melvin, give us his thoughts. Yeah. Well, let, let me just sit, speak my piece about um, them first. Well, both of us could speak it because we are both so in on them. They so, aren't who we thought they were. They are not who we thought they were. Notre Dame? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's been uh, tough sledding. They, uh, I really think that the loss to Ohio State just kind of derailed the train. I, I think agree. it just kind of killed them. I mean, I agree. I thought they deserved to win that game. They made, they had every opportunity in the world to win that game, and they didn't. Um, a little surprised that they beat Duke the following weekend. They got lucky there. Um, and I really thought that after they beat Duke, I was like, okay, well, you know, they're going to Louisville. Louisville's not as good as Duke. Um, and they just look like crap. I mean, the whole, literally the whole game. The offenses looked awful for three straight weeks in a row. I gave them a pass against Ohio State because I think Ohio State's defense is good. Um, I gave them a, somewhat of a pass against Duke because they have a good D-line. But uh, this was just all, all in all. I, their weaknesses that I said at the beginning of the year, offensive line and receiver. Were they have gonna, no skill players. No. I told, And I said that at the beginning. I said they don't. Their running back room is good, but like their receiver room is so bad. Yeah. And I just don't. I don't understand it. Um, it was really disheartening, but you know they have USC this weekend. So, but I told you guys, I said just pump the brakes a little bit because I I, I could see it coming with the receivers, the offensive line. I'm really disappointed. Hey, in, dude, hand up. We were wrong. Yeah, we'll be the first to admit it. I know my team. We were wrong. Hand up. Yeah, we were wrong. It's okay. I mean, it's okay. I know. I'm just really disappointed. It's I- okay. Yeah. And you got another fucking... <laughs> now they got USC this week. Now they got USC. They're favorites. 
I don't understand how like scheduling purposes like they let this happen. Well, I don't, don't want to hear it, I didn't dude. think Duke or Louisville was going to be as good as they are. I don't want to hear it, bro. No, no. I'm saying, like, you how did... your independent-ass schedule. I don't want to hear right. it. Right. And I'm saying they have the ability to do that. They have played eight... This is their eighth straight game in a row. You guys should have to this play seven ranked teams straight, now. Four straight, four straight, five matchup. Four straight ranked matchup. Which yeah. they, they never would have... Duke, I could have seen. Louisville, I didn't. But, like, four straight ranked matchup. Four straight night game. And... Prove yourself, I dude. don't understand how they have gone this long without having a bye week. I mean, everything yeah. that I've listened to that said they just looked defeated like when they ran out of the tunnel against Louisville. I'm like, well, that gives me no hope for this weekend. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, I was I was, I was, was high, high on them for you, dog. I thought we were going to ride the train together. I thought our Notre Dame fighting Irish. We're you can gonna still win. root for them. We're going to win. I mean, no, not really. I don't need to anymore, you know? I'm hoping now that... WVU loses to Oklahoma, and Notre Dame and WVU win every other game. And that way, hopefully, maybe we match up in a – just like Notre Dame played Oklahoma State in a Fiesta Bowl a couple year, uh, two dog, years ago. Dog, you don't want that That'd fucking be, that, smoke. That would be – honestly, maybe my worst nightmare. You don't want that fucking smoke, dude. Our defense is nice, dog. You're talking about Ohio State's defense, dude. Have you seen the Mounties? Let's get, in, let's get into the Have pick. you seen the Mounties let's flying around? Let's, I'm just happy we didn't lose this week. We didn't play. <laughs> It was great, dude. What? Why? Why aren't they playing Big Phil though? That's fucked. No, yeah, they were. They're saying Phil ain't playing tight end this year. It's kind of depressing. I was really h- hoping to see that Vaire to Dracovic, um connection. Me too. So, um, I I don't have anything to say about Pitt. Uh, well, I'll say they finally made a quarterback change. I'm excited from there. Um, I'm going to talk about him here in a little bit more. Uh, if you want to speak on WV for a minute, they have a huge game tomorrow. Yeah, no, tomorrow's game's massive. Uh, I don't. Well, the game will be over by the time you hear this, but for sure, yeah. for sure. But this, uh, this is one of those games where like records don't matter, spreads don't matter. Like the this is a this is a the massive trap game for us because the team we're playing, their head coach happened to be our head coach for like eight years. Yes, he did. So this is this is a classic trap game for a mountaineer team that has some some steam right now and i am just hoping to get out of there alive but i have all the confidence in the world i think our defense is playing incredible it's getting after the ball first they they start slow but they pick it up as the game goes and uh, truthfully i love the offense that we're running i wish they would give um like jalen anderson and jameer white the ball more but let's just keep the train rolling. So yeah, no, I, I'm I'm in a I'm in a very very I'm in a spot that I haven't felt in a long time, and I don't know how to feel about it. I'm all in on WVU right now because I want that bowl game matchup. Yeah, you know how hard it is to get these matchups we always want, though. I know. Yeah, I mean, I I'm. I, I, I'm just trying to do my best to look at it one week at a time and not to get ahead of myself. But when looking at the schedule that we have left in front of us, assuming that the one loss would be probably against Oklahoma, mm-hmm. the fact that we would be sitting there in the Big 12 at like 8-1, and 9-1, whatever it is, being able to play in a Big 12 championship game, like I don't, I don't think my heart would be able to take it, because I WVU is. It's w, a rush, dude. dude I, a I've, rush. I've 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 never seen it's my awesome. I've never seen my football team playing a conference championship. It's game. it's it's fun. It's a great time. So if, you can't, I, if they make it there, go. I w- I want to feel that feeling. If they make it go, I'm telling you, it is a blast. The one time, the one experience Road I had. Road trip I to had, Texas, boys. Is it in Texas? Yeah, or yeah, is isn't that, it in Jerry World? Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, so that's not as easy to go. Mine's only mine was only in Charlotte, but great city. It's yeah, very great city, but uh, it's it, yeah, they're a blast to go to. Well, fuck, dude. So yeah, I, I'm 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 trying I'm trying to keep a keep a clear head though. Yeah, I'm doing my best. Yeah. So um, we'll see after Thursday. Let's go, Mounties, dude. All right, we want to hop into it. Let's fucking hop into this thing, dog.
Let's hop our fine asses right into these picks. Oh, I got the updated uh, standings. Give me one second. Here. Standings are in. Bing, they bing, are so bing. close. Bing, bing, they, you're, you're not going to believe me when I tell you these. I'm standings. excited, dude. The boys, dude. The boys are the boys are hitting pretty well right now. Yeah. Okay. Let me find this. Oh, I'm on there. All right. Brady is leading, 37 and 28. Me and Jake are both 36-27 with two pushes. <laughs> That's crazy. That is the standings right now. That's crazy, dude. Because we've had 30, 40, 50, 50, 65 games. That's right. So me and you are both 36 and 27. And the week we did 15, me and you both pushed two games. Wow. So, yes, these are the standings. Brady is up. What, like a game, a half game, whatever you want to yeah, consider don't, it? Yeah, don't get cocky, dog. So this is easily the most entertaining this has been so far. It is so close. We're, what, about, are we halfway through officially? Just about halfway through? Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's good shit right now. Dude, it's good shit. I mean, there's a reason this is the number one gambling show in the country. All the boys are hot. All the boys. There's a reason that millions of people tune in every week. No doubt. And my overall record is 45 and 32. I am 58.44%, which I'm also very proud Let's of. Let's go, dude. So, yeah, it's been good so far. I love it. So, all right, we will jump into it. I was just sitting here adding some games. I'm going to look one more second real quick. Can we make Melvin go first? I go first. Yeah, I would love that. Melvin, why don't you do the honors of reading that first game while I sit here and look at these games still, please? Uh, we have number eight, Oregon, at number seven, Washington. Our line is Washington minus three. The over-under is 67 and a half. Um, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take Washington minus three at home. Um, Penix is a dog. Their receiver room is crazy. Dude, it's nuts. Um. Oregon, I think, is just as good, though. I mean, that, this one was really a toss-up. I don't like 67 and a half. I feel like this is a typical, uh, I want to say, over, but then it just ends up being like a 21-17 game. Yeah. Um, so I'll just take the home team here, laying the points. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. I have a that future on Washington at 20-1. to 1. Um. So I feel like I just got to ride with them, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going with uh, Washington minus three as well. I'm also on the train. Washington minus three. Brady did send me his picks as well. Yeah, Great. I mean, that's that's pretty much it. You Great. guys nailed he sent it. sent his picks. Wonder what he's on. <laughs> uh, wonder where he is. Ooh. Melvin, you want to take a guess what he took? Oregon plus three. No. He took the under? He did. Mm. Yeah. He it's did. He I took like the, the under. I like the pick. All right. Second game. Number 10 USC at number 21 Notre Dame. Notre Dame's minus two and a half. Over under is 62 and a half. Notre Dame minus two and a half. You want to explain it or just the line? The line doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I've gotten bit by this before, so I very well could see USC putting up like 30. It'd be like 30 to 10. Um, USC's defense does stink. It's awful. Yes, it does. It's, it's bad. So bad. Um, however, Notre Dame's offense is equally bad. But you're and, due which for a good sense. one. You're due for uh, one. Hopefully, USC's god-awful defense brings it out. If it doesn't, fire the offensive coordinator immediately. Um, so, I will... Uh, you better not try to take Neil Brown off my hands. Well, he is dude. a former WVU offensive coordinator, so, you know, should have seen it coming. Fuck you! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, under Neil Brown. So I will say Notre Dame minus two and a half. I'm taking USC plus two and a half. That's I don't, smart. I don't think this line makes a lick of sense. Notre Dame hasn't been able to score the last couple of weeks, even though USC's defense fucking stinks. But Caleb Williams is Caleb Williams, and I'm taking USC plus two and a half. Okay. Tell me if this makes sense, what I'm about to say. The way this line is with Notre Dame being favorites and the way USC scores the ball makes me think that Notre Dame's going to have to score with them to cover this spread. I think Notre Dame's defense is actually good, but USC has Caleb Williams. Yeah. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of points in this game. I don't hate the over. 
So I am going to take the over. What did I say the number was? 62, 62 and, a and a half. I don't hate that. Yeah. So that's just what I'm getting off that spread. I, I, I don't care how good anyone's defense is. Caleb Williams is he, as advertised. He's good. Yeah. He is very good. So, um, yeah, future Denver Bronco, one might could say. Could be. They could also be. have a ridiculous receiving core as well. Yeah. Yeah, they do. So I like the over 62 and a half. And Brady, of course, has the under 62 and a half. So there it is. I tell you what, pal. All four different picks. Yeah, this this, this week might uh, this week might split us up a little bit in yeah, the standings. It, it possibly could. All right. Third game, number 25, Miami at number 12, North Carolina. North Carolina is minus three and a half. Over under is 57 and a half. Can we discuss how stupid Miami is? This is the quick? dumbest thing I've ever seen. I thought it was I thought the Marcus worst. Freeman, Crystal ball should be fucking fired. I thought Notre Dame only putting 10 guys on the field two times in a row to end the game against Ohio State was bad. That might be worse. I, I b- a thousand percent that believe that might that's be worse. worse. I think because at least it was so against. Worse. I mean, I guess it makes it worse that it's Ohio State, but they don't have Georgia Tech didn't have any timeouts. Yeah. And it was third down. All you got to do is kneel the ball. Kneel the ball and the game's over. Well, was, wasn't that not the first time he's done that as a coach? Didn't he do that in, at Oregon against Someone Stanford? Said he, he did that against Oregon and Stanford, and like the guy that he was with said, kill, kill, kill. Or not kill, kill, kill. He said uh, kneel, he was screaming, kneel, kneel, and they he just went ahead and ran the play. And, it, and Damn, dude, that's crazy. I can, uh, yeah, well, you didn't make your um, pick. I don't know. I'll make I mine. Know. I can never pick a guy that does that ever in my lifetime. So I'm taking the Tar Heels minus three and a half. And that's just how it is. I hate taking, I hate taking all favorites, but I'm going to take Newton, uh, Carolina minus three and a half. Hey, Tez is back. I'm also taking uh, North Carolina minus three and a half. Drake Bay is also just, he's a dog. He's unbelievably good as well. He is very, very, very good. So I'm going to be taking him or taking them as well. And I just, I think I would have taken them regardless of how, st- even if Miami would have won last week, but I, that was just the dumbest thing I've ever seen. So, um, and Brady has Miami, North Carolina over 57 and a half points, points. The old boy wants some points. He huh? wants some points. He wants some tuds. All right. Number 18, UCLA at number 15, Oregon state, Oregon state's minus four over under is 54 and a half. How about DJ Ungalele? He might be back. Who? He DJ a, ukulele. He, uh, ukulele. Oh, okay. DJ That's ukulele. what I thought you said. That's what I thought you meant. <laughs> he badly needed a change of scenery. And it's working out. Um, I will go ahead. I'm going to take the under 54 and a half. Fuck. Well, I have written down. I'm taking the over. So I'm over 54 and a half. Points, points, points. Oopsie, boopsie. Points, 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 brother. All right. Uh, steal a base, steal a taco. There you go. They just steal one for a taco? That's that man. Is that Acuna? Oh, yeah. He's wrapping it up. What was the number? It is uh, 54 and a half. 54 and a half. So, Melvin has the under. Jake, you're taking the over. I'm hitting the over, old buddy. Um, I'm going to take Oregon State. I think these home pack 12 teams are just going to keep winning these games. Um, I took UC. Who did UCLA play last week? Washington State. Washington they were State. laying three at home. I'm just liking these uh, home teams. I think they're going to keep just winning. I mean, the Pac-12 is just a gauntlet right now. So I'm going to go with Oregon State. What did I say it was? Four? Yes, sir. All right. And Brady is also on Oregon State minus four. All right. Last game, A&M at number 19, Tennessee. Tennessee's minus three and a half. Over under is 55 and a half. Give me Texas A&M plus three and a half. Well, you're taking old Jimbo, huh? WVU's next coach. <laughs> I mean, I Trust would be pumped. But, we're, but again, dude. They're, they're climbing right now. Unfortunately for you, I'm a loyal motherfucker, dude, and I'm on the climb, and I'm staying on the climb until the climb stops. <laughs> and then once the climb <laughs> stops, I'll jump onto yeah, the next one. I'm a loyal dude, bro. And with that being said... I'm taking under 55 and a half. Okay. No reason why. I think the SEC football kind of stinks this year. 
And I'm maybe I'm just a fucking hater, but it is maybe. what it is. Can I can can I just say with college football this year, and I normally don't agree with them a whole lot. Um, I feel like his takes have actually been pretty pretty accurate so far this year. But Brandon Walker said, I have no clue who is good. I truly looking at this, I'm like, I could probably now I have no clue. I thought Georgia looked like crap up until this weekend. I think they finally looked like Georgia. And then they this finally weekend. looked like Georgia. Yeah. So now I'm back to being like I, they might be better than everyone else. They might be better than everyone else. Yeah. But I mean like I think any I think given Oregon, Saturday, anybody right now in the top I think fifteen Oregon, can beat anybody. Yeah. I think Oregon and Washington are both good. I think USC is good, but their defense is just trash. Um I don't I I Bama's coming back to what they could be the, they're starting um, I, I said that last week i said don't count them out no yeah um ohio state is still in there michigan's still in there penn state's still michigan in there. michigan looks really really good i just don't i, know they haven't I just don't know more. what it looks like like how this would have been a fantastic year to have a 12 team playoff yeah. that's what and then that's what i think we talked about you this said last that last week. week yeah and then i said next year it'll go back to where it's like Three teams that but are I don't, like dominant. And again. But the thing is, is like next year, like Georgia will be still be Georgia because Carson Beck will still be back. But Michigan's losing JJ McCarthy, so they're gonna have to replace him. So that'll still hurt. Ohio State can still have McCord, so they'll still be there. Um, Do you think there's any unranked team right now that's floating around in the AP around thirty to thirty-five <laughs> on a week by week basis that might be able to make a run and get in? See, I don't know, but like that's what makes me excited for next year, though. Like I wish so badly there was a twelve-team playoff this year yeah, because Notre too. Dame would still have hope, yeah. and they don't have hope this year. Yeah, but um, it, I told them the other day. I said, or I told Brady, I said, at least I can watch the rest of the year just worry-free. Yeah, that's true. So it's not fun though, dude. It's Every not. given Sunday, I'm just. But anyway, that's my little rant. I, I wish that there were twelve this year because not for Notre Dame's sake, but because like, how does the Pac-12? I mean, on this slate alone, there are five ranked Pac-12 teams. Yeah, and Utah is not even on there. Yeah. So, how do you how, how do you decide between like that that Pac-12 championship game? They very well could just end up knocking each other out. No but doubt. how how is a commissioner? Do you let it happen where you lose all your schools? And, like, literally right now, they are by far the best conference in football, and they couldn't find a TV deal, and then all of them started leaving. It, it actually makes no sense, it's, I, I don't especially for how good they are. And it just doesn't surprise me at all the last year of the Pac-12, it's the last year of the conference. I mean, it's just... It's chaos It's right just now. how the world works. Did Har- he just hit Harper bomb? bomb, yeah. Let's do this game. That ain't bad. He's got a hog, probably. Oh, yeah. Just look at him. Hold on. I want to see this bomb real quick. Just dead center. I love watching him just destroy baseballs. It's very entertaining. Lefty on lefty, too. Oh, he just left it oh, right that in was the beautiful. Middle. I mean, just what a swing. Was, look that, at, was that lefty on lefty crime? Lefty on lefty crime. Damn. Oh, he's staring fuckers down, too. That's beautiful. I love a good fucking home run. All right. Um, where were we talking about the Pac-12? Yeah, we're, here, we're done with it. Okay, okay. okay. Um, big hit of time. Oh, I don't even have oh, a game. Fuck. Shit, Brady didn't give me one. Yeah, I don't have right. one right now either. All right, go ahead. I'll do my ads first. Okay. I need to look. Fuck, dude. I got all my picks. I have my lock. I have everything. So let me. Get to it. I don't have my my phone, so I might have to use your thing as a cheat sheet here. That's fine. You want to use my phone? I'll scan real quick. I'll take it. I'll take a peek. See. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, dude, we went to Ched's last night. How the, was it? The, it was great. The waitress was so nice, but it threw me off because after everything you said, she said thank you. Everything. It was like, what would you like to drink? And she looked at me. It was like water. And she was like, thank you. And then she looked at my mom. And then she goes, thank you. And th- it was like, it was, she did it. Then she's like, what do you want to eat? Thank you. What sides would you like? Thank you. And just kept saying thank you. No, thank you. So then I just kept saying right, thank you, dude. Get to it was a good old-fashioned thank, thank you off. off. Yep. My pleasure. 
Uh, where are you? Thank you. My pleasure. Or do you see? Okay, here you go. I appreciate you. Defend my. Sometimes the app's weird, but my pleasure. Um. <clears throat> All right, I have one, two, three, four, five plays, and I have a lock. One of the locks is a five and five game for me this week. Love it. Love it. So, all right, I'm going to go. Give me Purdue at home, getting 19 and a half versus Ohio State. I heard it's going to be windy. It's going to be rainy. Uh, I should take the under, but I like Purdue to keep it close. I think last time there was a game like that at Purdue when Ohio State played them, Purdue beat them. What was that? Maybe five, six years ago, Melvin. Five, six uh, years. Yeah, maybe? Jeff Brom was still the head coach. Yeah. It was Meyer. Meyer was the head coach. Still, you got so. it. That's it. Okay. Um, give me BYU plus six at TCU. I'm all in on the Slovis train. BYU is they're them. They're them. Pitt wasn't the pro or Pitt was the problem. You want to go to the Slovis. BYU game? What? It's in Morgantown. The, they play in the, uh, in Morgantown this year. I don't like going to games. No, you didn't want to see your boy Slovis. I mean, I would like to see him possibly go two and zero against the Mounties. You know what I'm saying? Fuck <laughs> you. Um, third game, I'm going Iowa Wisconsin over thirty four and a half. I know Jake loves that pick. He loves taking Iowa overs. Dude, it's exhilarating. Yeah, give me the over thirty four and a half there. That's entirely too low. Love that shit. This game, I'm gonna save that one. I want to talk about that. Give me Duke minus three and a half at home versus NC State. And this game, I don't want to be called a homer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's why I'm not making this game my lock, but I love this game. I love Pitt plus seven and oh, a half. Louisville off a letdown. Easy. I love Pitt getting seven and a half at home versus Louisville. I thought about making it my big hit of play. I, I, I'm absolutely in love with this play. Ty, if you love it, do it. I'm not doing it. I love another game more, but I love this play. Okay. I'm going to explain myself. Louisville just did beat Notre Dame. It's a classic letdown. It's a classic letdown. Pitt making this quarterback change. Heinz I think Field's the team's going to be rocking. up for it. Yeah, Heinz I don't know if rocking. they'll get a good crowd or not. I really don't. I don't because yeah. they are bad. Dude, those 175 people <laughs> yeah, cheer I mean, their asses The student off. section will be there in full force. I don't know if anyone else will be there, but... Just those three things in effect. Or I got one more thing. Pitt usually when they are bad like this or a sub-500 team when they're not even that, always upset someone. They do. They always do it. They do. I think this is the week they could do it. So I would absolutely love them. I'm not going to make them my big hitter, but I love that game. I don't want to be called a homer. That's why I'm not taking that as my big hitter. But I love a game even more. And that's North Carolina minus three, three and a half versus Miami. Love that. Is that your, that's your, that's my big hit a pick. I think they are going to stomp this Miami team. And I just, just after the shit last week with Miami, like I said, it wouldn't have mattered for minus, me about last week. Minus three. Yeah. I just minus three, minus three and a half, three whatever, and a half. Right. whatever it's at. But I am in love with this game. I love Drake May. I love watching North Carolina play. I wouldn't mind them. You think they could sneak into the playoff? If they keep they winning. get undefeated when the ACC because they'd have to Maybe. beat Florida State. They'd have to beat Florida State. Have to beat Clemson, which Clemson I still don't think is a slouch. But so I really like North Carolina minus three and a half. Um, Miami hasn't looked bad. That game versus Georgia Tech was just awful in general. They should have won that game huge in the first place. They were twenty point favorites, I think. So. My big hit of lock is North Carolina minus three and a half. Just take a knee. Yeah, that's it. Just take a knee. Just take a knee. Yep. I'm going to be taking the... Um, oh, I lost track of records on locks because I was didn't have my book for a couple of weeks, so we're done giving records on locks. <laughs> it's okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, <laughs> I'm taking the Marshall Thundering Herd plus one and a half against Georgia State. Are they at home? I think they're away. They're away. That's his play. Go, dude. Go herd, dude. Have they lost the game yet? Are they still undefeated? They lost last week. Who'd they lose to? NC State. Was yeah. it close? Yeah, yeah, they lost by seven. Okay. I go think. herd, dude. Um, I got a herd on. I was kind of hoping that, Ty, you were going to uh, take Pitt so that I wasn't forced to make a decision Do between it. my oh. two plays. Do, Do it. it. 
So I'm going to give out my two plays, and I, I actually I feel strongly. Jake wanted me to do it, so I let's just str- do it. I do feel it. About both of them. Do it. So I'm going to I'm going to talk to Jake and Jake only here. Do my it. two plays are Cincy minus five at home over Iowa State. Cincy sucks. So does Iowa State. Or I ride with the Panthers. I plus mean, dude, seven he, and a half. He, here it is. Here I, it is. I, you know what? No, no. I want. I want Pitt. Yes. 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 Ask me for my opinion. Shuts me down <laughs> instantly. I dude. love it. I, I just have that game. such a feeling about this game. I don't know <laughs> what it is, but I love it. Give me the Panthers. I love this. The line was up. To, it was at like nine and a half. I think nine, nine Man, and a half. People are hammering Pitt. Yeah, I love this game. I'm all over it. I have one from Brady as well. I don't know who this dude is. You probably will. Evan Stewart over fifty and a half receiving yards. Who the fuck is Evan Stewart? For Texas A&M. I'm about to go put this in right now because he's a receiver for Texas A&M. Um, I'm going to have to literally put it in now because I'm sure that line will move. Okay. Well, yeah, he's, dude. Once the millions of people listen to this, I'm just, it's gonna I'm shift just quick. Si- uh, props sending this to Brady me. now because I know he's going to ask. Okay, Pitt. He'll be like, what does that even say? Probably. <laughs> Jake, you took Marshall. Yeah, dude. Why? Is there another one I should take? No. Just do, go, roll with it. It's in now. This I got a hurt on. This is the week. I got a hurt on. Big hitter. This is finally the week. Let's All do right. it. So it is. Week one, we were so fucking close. We were. Marshall plus one and a half. North Carolina minus three and a half. Evan Stewart over 50 and a half receiving yards. And Pitt plus seven and a half. I'm in love with it. I think this might be the one. Also, I'm just going to say be. Marshall uh, money line. They're only getting one now. So yeah, Marshall, just take money on. Marshall, it's want. minus 105 versus if you take the point, it's minus 110. So Yeah, dude, fuck around and sprinkle the money. Yeah, you know? whatever. Yep. Fuck it. I will be sprinkling pit money line this week. I don't know why. I hate it. I hate all this. I but they got the buy. They had, they're had. they coming off a buy, dude. I just have this feeling. Vair had an extra week in practice. It's just they're ready to freaking go, man. So that is, I love that game. Melvin, great pick there. Great pick. Until they get beat like forty eight to ten, but yeah, let's dude. not put that <laughs> in the then, air. And then we can't blame you. <laughs> yeah. We can blame him. Yeah, it's very true. Fuck you. All right, NFL. Uh, I think all of our teams might stink. I know mine does. <laughs> <laughs> Commanders stink. Stink. Um, Broncos stink. Yeah. Um, I think the Cowboys stink. I mean, I they don't stink. They're very average. I. After watching that game Sunday night, all I'm going to have to say to it is... I think the 49ers are good. They're very, very good. But you can't get beat 42-10 and think you can contend in the NFC. Um, no. My guess right it's now fair. is Dallas will do what they did last year. It, um, they'll probably make the playoffs, win a game, then have to play Philly or San Francisco, get beat, and that'll be the season. So that's all I have to say about them. And I'm so over Dak. Me and my brother talked about today. I'm just so over him, so... Wow, we're out on Dak. It wasn't. I've been kind of out on him for a little bit now, but dude, yeah. I, listen, I'll ride with you. I'm out on Dak too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't, you just got anything to just say like the just like we're fucking just out on the Broncos. Period. <laughs> I mean, dude, I I don't I, I don't know. It's a disaster. Yeah, it's it's a dumpster fire. Um, <laughs> Sean Payton right now is like, why did I take this yeah. job? Yeah, Sean Payton <laughs> is. <sighs> I mean, I, I know he'll, he'll if he can get through the rough spots, he'll turn it around. Not this season, obviously, but I don't, I don't know what's going on, dude. Maybe we, they have be- just bigger issues somewhere I, in dude, the franchise. It I don't know what kind of seems that way. I mean, yeah. with, with the actual weapons that we have on offense, the fact that we don't at least get three points every drive is insane. Like, we came out in the second half against the Jets and had four three and outs in a row. Four. In the NFL, dude. So, like, I don't know. Russ Russ isn't p- statistically playing bad, no, but, like, not. I don't know. I think we need to move on, I think. Yeah. I think I, I think it's time to go in a different direction. It didn't work out. Enjoy your $225 million Walmart money. We don't give a fuck, it's time. Dude. That's the Caleb thing, Williams. though. It's going to be so hard to get rid of him because, like, more money for him is getting ready to, like, kick in, I think. 
It's like who's going to want to take on that money with them unless the Broncos just eat it, oh, which that, they could because of that Walmart money. Dude, I they'll, I bet they'll just eat it. Bro. It's time for Caleb Williams. It is time for Caleb Williams. Yeah, I mean, it's – You were the Vikings. I, I, I don't know, but again, we don't have a pick. We'd have to make a move to get a first-round pick because we gave all of ours away until 2007. Are you on Caleb Williams' list, though, to go to? He came out with a list he'd like to go to. I know the Cowboys are on the list. Oh, I did not see the list. But the Cowboys aren't. I mean, Jerry Jones would probably give up his future to get that pick. Oh, no yeah. doubt. Anybody should. Yeah, he's he's. I think he's that good, yeah. Yeah, but... Um, With that being said, with the Broncos, we got a quick turnaround. Typical trap game for the fucking Chiefs, dude. (laughs) Oh, yeah, that's tomorrow. Kelsey's banged up. He might not play. I forgot both your teams play tomorrow. He might play. You know, (laughs) this is at home for Kansas City. They're winning. Their offense isn't clicking on all cylinders. And they're playing against a team that has no business being in the same arena with them. But, dude, it's going to be the upset of the fucking century. You know, it's going to happen. The Broncos are going to catch a dub. They're going to get back on track. And the Sean Payton train keeps rolling, dude. So even though it's not a 5-5, five and five, and even though by the time this is out, the game will be over, I'm taking Broncos plus 10 and a half, and I'm taking a money line, dude. Are you going to have – I'm guessing you'll be watching both the games down here tomorrow. Well, I'll, I'll be watching the WVU game all the way through, okay. and then I will turn the Broncos on. So you won't do both the TVs? I'll, I'm probably going to be outside, okay. and, and quite frankly, I don't know if my mental capacity can handle both going from being fucking okay. terrible to, okay, you know, I respect getting it. slow in my old age. Yeah. All right, we will just move on to the games then. Um, first game we have is Seahawks at the Bengals. Bengals are minus three. Over under is forty five and a half. Joe Burrow, minus three. Yeah, I think they're back. They looked really good last week. I know they only played Arizona, but they, they I think they really needed that Bengals game. stink. I'm taking the Seahawks plus three. Are you really? I am, dude. The Bengals are not good this year. It just ha- it happens. You can't be good every year in a row. This is their rough year. They stink. I'm on the Bengals minus three as well. Um, Like Melvin said, it's just Joe Burrow. I just... I get you got to take him. I, I, that was a big get back game, I think, for him last week. So, um, Brady's also on the Bengals minus three. So you are by yourself on this one, dude. It's all right. Are you or are you just riding with Gino? Is what you're doing? Honestly, no. I I, I really don't think the Bengals are that good. Yeah. And I think that the Seahawks are average. So. Yeah. Statistically, average beats not very yeah. good. So that's why I'm taking the points. Okay. All right, second game, Swat. Niners Swat. at the Browns. Niners are minus six, over under 37 and a half. Um, I just want to say this about the Browns. This is so random that I'm about to rip the Browns because I literally usually root for the Browns because they're so bad, but Deshaun Watson's a giant fucking pussy, and there's no other way to, pl- no other way to say it. Um, him saying he's, he was going to play not this past week, two weeks ago, then sitting out. Um, I saw today that DTR said he didn't know he was starting till like 1030 that Sunday morning or something like that. Uh, just a shitty situation, I think. And then he's like medically cleared to play and he just hasn't been practicing this week either. So I don't know what's going on there. Did but you do that on purpose? What? Shitty situation because like buttholes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't. <but laughs> <now I get it. laughs> that was good, dude. He's a wh- I feel like he's just a weird dude. I yeah, mean- I think he's just strange. Yeah. So. Um, I just wanted to get that off my chest because he's a gigantic puss. So I he's think, not so. playing this week. No, it hasn't been said, but he, I, he was, raw. I, DTR was outside taking first team, uh, reps yesterday. Deshaun Watson was inside working on. Dude, something. I, I just figured it out. I right. just, fi- I just solved the problem. Yes, Deshaun, Deshaun is not working in Cleveland. Russ is not working in Denver. Their contract values are similar. Yada bing, Just bada swap boom, em? swap them. <laughs> Let's yeah, go, dude. I mean, there it is. Uh, I fixed with, that, it. Uh, with that being said, I'll take the over 37 and a half. Wow, dude, we're getting Deshaun Watson. I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> to be quite honest, if the 49ers can put up 42 by themselves on the Cowboys defense, who I think is good, I, they can definitely do it against the Browns. Brown's defense is really good, and I thought the Cowboys was too, but I guess not. I think this 49ers team is one of the best NFL teams we've seen since we've been alive. They're so good. I was watching 
shout out the boy Pat McAfee. I can't remember who was on it, but literally the 49ers have a star player in every position on the field. Yeah. Which is insane. Yeah. And unheard of. I'm taking the 49ers minus six. The 49ers might not lose a game all year. I'm uh, also taking the 49ers minus six. I think there's something going on in Cleveland with this whole Deshaun Watson situation, but he could easily just play Sunday, and I could be completely wrong. But I'm going to go with the Niners minus six. And Brady is also on the Niners minus six. So, Honestly, dude, rumor has it, real estate agents were saying that Deshaun was out in uh, Boulder <laughs> <laughs> looking for houses, dude. I heard. Uh, That's what someone told me. All right, third game, Colts at the Jaguars. Jaguars are minus four. Over under is forty five and a half. Um, I'll take the Jags minus four. Anthony Richardson is out. Yeah, and he's electric, dude. I've loved watching him. Chomp. He needs to learn to get down though. Yeah. He keeps Minchu's, getting hurt. Minshew's not bad though. No, he's I'll, I'll take. Backup. I'll still take uh, the Jags minus four. I think the Jags are on a London hangover. Two weeks in a row, they get two dubs. They're going to come back cocky, and they forgot a guy that used to be their quarterback, Gardner Minshew, is now stepping in back in Jacksonville. I think he lights it up. I think the Colts win, and I'm going to take the Colts plus four, dude, because Minshew mania is a real thing. I love that. What's the over-under on that game? Um, I'm going to take over 45 45. and a half there. I just think there's going to – I don't – I just don't like the spread here at all. Um, Minshew is a very valuable backup who – he's been playing pretty well, honestly, so – uh, give me over, what did I say, 45 and a half? 45 and a half. So I will take that over. Old buddy. Uh, and Brady has the Colts plus four as well. He's on the Minshew train. He is on the Minshew train. All right, we got the Eagles at the Jets. Eagles are minus seven, over under is 41. The, I, Jets I are starting to play better football. Hate, Zach Wilson's getting I comfy. I hate this pick because I know that I'm taking the Jets plus seven. <laughs> me too. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Um, but with that being said, you're getting blown up. Jets plus seven. Fly. No, I'm just kidding. I'm taking the Jets plus seven. J E T S. Jets. 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 Yeah. Let me fix my dog. Yeah, dude. I got you, dog. Yeah. So you're both on the Jets. What's Court getting us for chicken back? <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm on the Jets. The Jets beat a good team last week. Yeah, they did. The Jets beat a great team last week. That's a big win for the Jets. And uh, I think Zach Wilson is getting comfy. As, he's he's, yeah, he's looking said. better. Um, Do it. Do it. Right. I'm rooting for the Jets. I don't Do know it. why. I'm rooting for Zach Wilson. I kind of feel bad for the dude. So for that reason, I'll also take the Jets plus seven. Plus, I just fucking hate the Eagles so much. Dude, and you know, literally, Zach Wilson is just in to get them to the playoffs, and somehow Rodgers will come back. Rodgers claims he's coming back, so. That ayahuasca shit. Yeah, we'll see. Um, Brady's on the over 41. He has the Eagles, Jets over 41. Ooh. All right, Ooh. last game. Lions at the Bucks. Lions are minus three, over under is 44. I think the Lions are good. I love Dan Campbell. However, there's a quarterback down in Tampa Bay oh, baby. by the name of Baker Mayfield. Ballin'. And they would still have a decent defense, so I'm going to take the Buccaneers at home getting the points. I'm just going to just repeat what he, what he just said in your brain, and I'm also taking the Bucs plus three. That was a great, great pump-up speech. I want to be a little different here. Give me the under. I'm going to go under 44. Tampa's defense is still really good. Detroit's has gotten better. Um, Baker's getting the job done, man. Uh, just any way he can. He's 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 actually been putting up yards. So, yeah, I'm just going to take the under. What did I say, 44? Yep. Yep, 45. And Brady is taking Detroit, Tampa Bay over 44. <laughs> so, that's it there. Yeah, that's all we got. That's all we got. Uh, closing stuff real quick. Well, we don't have to be quick. But There's massive news that just came out today. Hit me with that In first. In the UFC world. Now I got to know. You don't know this yet. No. Oliveira is out of the Makachev fight. I saw that. No, I did see that. And now Volk 
is fighting Islam again. So Volk is officially fighting Volk him. Volk is fighting him. Wasn't that a battle last time? Didn't one, some people think Volk One won? could argue this guy that Volk beat yeah, Islam. Yeah. So it'll be a good fight. That, that that was some pretty big news. I thought you were about to make me so horny and say that uh, Nate was going to fight him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <geez. laughs> that would have been sick. But um, I'll just bring it up for Brady. Hockey's back. Um, Penn's lost. Connor Bedard. I watched some of that game last night because I was interested in him. He's a little dude. He's a little fella. Uh, when he's I had it, on, it together. It was 2-1 Penn's when I had it Yeah, on. they got beat 4-2. Ooh, I was glad losers. I had I had the um I had the Blackhawks plus two hundred last night, so that was a W for me. I will take that. Great win. Um, for you. Preseason basketball's back. I haven't got to watch any of the Lakers yet. They look well. My boy AR fifteen looks good. Whole team looks good so far. I know it's only preseason, but that makes me excited. Basketball's right around the corner. Can't get here soon enough. College basketball because pit football stinks, like I've been saying. College hoops, baby. Yeah, I can't wait for college hoops. Me too. I'm fucking pumped. Did we do? Didn't we do? Did we do a March Madness episode last year? Yeah, I yeah, think we, we did. did. Yeah. yeah, we did. Um, which crazy bulletin board material? They got us finishing thirteenth out of fourteen. Do they really? I might. Hoops. I might be able to do a March Madness epi. Yeah, that hey. might work special lepis well i'll have a child that's about two months old that's so i'll true. have to see if that works out but kid um, can come yeah he can come i don't care he can make his debut on the pod he can kick right it right there yeah. right yeah. there yeah. he can sit right here yeah <laughs> um last but not least we'll end it here dylan danis is fighting it looks like it looks like it's gonna happen uh i don't know what to think i are you curious? I saw. I looked it up last night because I was, I was curious. It starts at two Eastern here, I believe. Okay. I don't think they said those fights will go off till probably like, I thought they said KSI and Tommy Fury will probably be around like six thirty or so, and the Jake or the Logan and uh, Dylan fights before that. So. Yeah, dude. I mean, to be quite honest with you, Ty. As much as I want Logan and Dylan to fight, I won't believe that it happens until it starts. <laughs> until you see him walk in the <laughs> yeah. ring. Yeah. Be- because, like, Dylan has never fought anybody. Yeah. He's been trying to fight people since, like, 2018, and everyone's yeah. just like, dude, you're a joke. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, Dylan is a big guy, though. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. So, I don't know. I just don't believe in the striking at all. Would be kind of funny to see him knock Logan Paul it out. It would be hilarious. If we're yeah. just keeping it It would honest. be hilarious. Um. I hope my man Tommy Fury gets it done tomorrow. Me too. The or cheeky little Saturday. bugger. Or Saturday, yeah. Yeah, I, I do too. Um, I'm not a big Tommy Fury guy, but I just, KSI just gets on my nerves when it comes to this boxing stuff. So outside of that, I do think he's pretty funny, but he's just so weird when it comes to this. So Tommy Fury just makes me laugh because he just doesn't know how to shit talk. So he has his brother and his dad yeah, do it for sit him. there and just do it for him. <laughs> his dad's and, an electric factor. And to me, that is extremely odd. I think I saw that John Fury and Greg Paul got into it today on my phone. What? I, I think so. I might've just been screaming. And then like KSI was like on a balcony above him, like screaming too. But yeah, it's damn. Yeah. Dude. I don't know. So, Get, I'd, I'd watch Greg Paul and John Fury fight. That'd be uh Dude, I'd pay a thousand dollars to watch them fight. <laughs> that would be so that would be entertaining. A the thousand bucks. fight between KSI, John Fury, and Gregory Paul. So yeah, they were I think it was just a lot of screaming. So I don't know what about, but Damn. That's all great. right. That's all I got. Anyone got anything else? Um no. No, I don't. I don't think. Um, congrats to Brady. Well, he won't be married yet by Friday, but congrats. Yeah, congrats. We'll congratulate him again next week. Um, he did it. He did it, dude. Yeah. You did it. I'm he proud did. of gonna you. Gonna be gonna be a fun weekend. Yeah, yeah. gonna be a great weekend. So. Well, if you want to come over tomorrow and watch sports, you can. I'll have to go to the Cape Club drawing. That's fine. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting Letty tomorrow. Are you getting Letty? Oh, dude, you off Friday. Yeah, there you go. Well, dude, I already had it off for Brady's wedding, and then I looked at the two schedules, and I had to do, like, tr- I couldn't believe it. Mm-hmm. I was like, the Mounties and the Broncos play this Thursday when I have Friday. Off, I so feel yeah, like this off. happened before with them. I don't know. Could have. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So, 
All right. Yeah. Now, um, I just so the people don't forget, Brady was uh, Brady is a team abandoner. Um, <laughs> yeah, I haven't said it. I haven't said it once this you. year, so I figure I had to fit it in once. He's a team abandoner. Um, whatever he says, rest of the year, don't believe him. Remember that. <laughs> um, remember, talk your not, shit. It's not goodbye. It's I'll see you later. It's I'll see you later. Love it, Melvin out. Melvin out. All right, for now. <laughs> Honestly, dude, we should just end it at that. Yeah, you know what? We are just going to end it at that. Just say, click. Goodbye, Mel.